हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ शेड्यूलर्स इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द शेड्यूलिंग क्यूज ऑफ एन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम सो वी नो दैट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम मेंटेन्स थ्री टाइप ऑफ क्यूज ड्यूरिंग इट्स फॉर द शेड्यूलिंग ऑफ अ प्रोसेस फर्स्ट क्यू इज जॉब क्यू सेकेंड क्यू इज कॉल्ड एज ready queue and third queue is called as device queue so we can say during the execution a process migrates between these three queues that initially it was it is in the ready queue uh, job queue then it enters in the, in the ready queue and then if io device uh, uh, if it needs io device then it enters in the device queue so in such case operating system has to select select these uh, processes from the queues for scheduling purpose the operating system has the responsibility of selecting the processes from these queues uh, these uh, queues for the scheduling purpose and this selection procedure is carried out by the scheduler the selection procedure is carried out by by the scheduler so operating system maintains three types of schedulers for its job the first one is called as long term scheduler long long term and also called as job scheduler long term or job scheduler this scheduler selects processes this scheduler select processes from secondary memory pool and loads them into main memory so this uh, scheduler selects the processes from pool that, that pool is from uh, secondary memory secondary storage and then loads them into main memory and this is uh, invoked very infrequently very infrequently because when a process executing it generally resides in the main memory so when a, whenever a process terminates then if new uh, job uh, or process wants to be executed then this process uh, this scheduler will be invoked so, so it is also called as this uh, controls the degree of multi programming why because it selects the processes from the secondary storage so the more number of processes it selects from them from there the more degree of multi programming the cpu will achieve second type of scheduler is called as short term scheduler the called as short term scheduler and also called as cpu scheduler cpu scheduler the job of the cpu scheduler is to select processes from ready queue and where is ready queue resides the ready queue resides in the main memory so the processes which are also uh, uh, already residing in the main memory the short term scheduler selects the process from them and allocate cpu to them and it is invoked very frequently because uh, to achieve the higher degree of multi programming the process has to switch them very very frequently for the so for the switching purpose the short term scheduler is needed this short term scheduler 
is of two type or can be described uh, either as IO bound sorry the processes for this short term scheduler uh, are of two type that are IO, IO bound and some processes are CPU bound the IO bound processor uh, jo, uh, IO bound processes are the, the processes which are IO bound it sp uh, spends more time in doing IO re requests frequently requests IO for either IO devices and generally spend most of their time during IO completions and CPU bound processors uh, processes spends more uh, most of their time in doing in doing computation and less time in doing IO uh, requests or fulfilling IO request so these are uh, two major type of schedulers but we have one special category of scheduler which is called as int, uh, additional scheduler or sometimes called as medium term scheduler which is sometimes called as third type of scheduler which is called as medium term scheduler medium term scheduler this is specially used in time sharing systems the systems with those executes the process on the basis of their times so these are basically introduced in the uh, in these type of systems so these add the intermediate level of scheduling so to understand the concept of scheduling or schedulers let us take a look at this diagram initially a process is uh, taken from the secondary memory and it is maintained in the batch queue the job of long term scheduler is to uh, fetch the processes from the uh, from the secondary storage batch to the main memory ready queue then the short term scheduler selects process from the ready queue and assigns cpu to them and when when processes complete their task they ends or terminate during that some processes may ask for an IO device so they kept in the IO waiting queues and after doing IO completion they move back to the ready queue. Now consider the special case suppose a process is executing and due to its time slash is expired it will be swapped out by the CPU or the operating system and it will be kept in the partial uh, partially executed swapped out processes queue. And once this swap, swap out is done they will be back, uh, swapped in back into the ready queue so this complete job of swap out and swap in this is especially done in the time sharing systems and so that this scheduling is done by medium term scheduler so the job of medium term scheduler is to swap out the parts partially executed processes due to their their time slice uh, timeout and swap them in back to the ready queue so that they can execute and continue their job whatever they were doing so this is all about the schedulers uh, thanks for watching and if you have any query then you may ask in our comment section in the next lecture we'll uh, deal with uh, some more details of scheduling thank you